Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, sorry, today we're going to be trying out some new makeup. Not everything I have is new, but most of it it's my first time using. Um, so yeah. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with my Project Pan primers so that way I have primers that I know that I've used in the past for this new foundation I'm gonna try. The foundation I'm trying today is the Ravalon Insta Filter. I hauled this quite a few hauls ago but I've still yet to try it. Like I said I got it from my mother-in-law that is why it is already used. It was too late for her but I already know it's gonna be way too dark for me so I'm going to also mix it with the Catrice excuse me, Prime and Fine Makeup Transforming Drops in Lightning. But we're going to use my normal primer. So first I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. And do that. So what are you guys up to today? I'm getting ready to go to my dad's house to have lunch with him. And then I'm having dinner with my one of my best friends today. She lives out in California, but she is on leave right now. She's in the army. Um, she's on leave right now, so she is in New Hampshire visiting. And I am really, really excited. Because she's almost never in New Hampshire. technically don't need to put foundation on my forehead because I have bangs now. In fact, I have them clipped back so I can do my makeup. So I really don't know why I'm applying primer right now. Because I wasn't really planning on putting it on my forehead. That way my uh, bangs don't stick to my forehead. They're already coming out of the bobby pins. This is going to be, this is going to be great. So I'm just going to do that to try to get the primer off. So I know my bangs are going to stick to my forehead if I try putting makeup on my forehead. Hold on, let me fix my bangs being pinned up since I touched my forehead and now they're coming undone and I need them to stay back while I'm doing my makeup. I need to put them a little bit more forward. Okay. I think I got all the primer off there. And then I am also going to go in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer. Do not put it on the forehead, Cassie. Force of habit, I know. Thankfully, this primer is almost done. It is in my project pan, because makeup forever is not cruelty free. Um. 
I have a mix of cruelty-free and non-cruelty-free items in today's video because I have in the past purchased a ton of non-cruelty-free items and I'm just trying to use up what I can and still test what I can for you guys like for example that Revlon foundation um, I got it from my mother-in-law and I haven't tested it yet so I figured I would test it and if I like it use it up so yeah all right so like I said this is the Revlon insta filter this is just what the packaging looks like does come with a sponge but we're not going to use that because I need to mix the foundation with the lightning drops so nothing's happening oh there we go just trying to get a good amount Ooh. Fair warning, very liquidy. In theory, that should be more than enough. So now let's put the lightning drops. Ooh, I think I may have over lightened it. I have to wait and see. Actually, no, I think I did a good job. I am pretty pale right now. Okay. I definitely have too much though. Actually, no. I do think I overlightened it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. Better to have a foundation that's too light and you need to darken than too dark. And you need to lighten. I mean, you know what I mean. Better to apply a foundation that's too light than to apply a foundation that's too dark. So, so far, this foundation is going on pretty nicely. So, I'm kind of excited about that. And it's covering really nicely too. So. That's always exciting. I really need to get a mixing palette so I stop putting it on the back of my hand and then feeling the need to use it all. I'm so pale. Holy crap. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a difference between my skin tone and the actual product but that's okay it's just not hugely different so I'm just gonna blend it down my neck a little just because I got some extra here
Does the inside of your nose ever get itchy? Mine does. So, it applied nicely. And it seems to give kind of like a dewy finish. So that's kind of exciting. But I always have this problem where just like in my smile lines, it just doesn't look that good. Maybe I should just stop applying it to my smile lines. But I always need to apply right here because like around my mouth is darker than the rest of my face. I don't know why. It just is. Yeah, okay, I look pretty even. I didn't think I did for a second, but I do. So I'm just blending, blending, blending. All right, so I think I'm all blended out. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I pulled this in my shop this, my stash this week, which I think you've already seen. Truly, I think everything I'm using today, with the exception of the foundation, is in my shop, my stash. So. I think it's smart for me, personally, to be doing shop, my stashes. Um, now that my collection's gotten so big because I think I'm using everything, but to be honest, I'm really not. And that definitely was seen when I was pulling everything out for my shop, my stash yesterday. Because I'd pull something out and then be like, oh yeah, I forgot I had that. That's not okay. So. At least not in my book is it okay. So I'm just trying to use my stuff now. So each week, ev no not each week, every two weeks, I'm going to, um, switch out all my makeup I'm not I'm gonna put the stuff in my previous shot my stash to the side so I don't pick the same thing twice um like two two shot my stashes in a row um and I can really try to use my products What are you guys up to today? Sorry if you can hear the bird. I know you can. Alright. So I'm going to go in with the Koki Finishing Powder. 
um, in yellow. Yeah. And I'm just gonna put some in the cap and I'm going to set my under eyes with that. Kind of hard to get out of the package, not gonna lie. So <laughs> all right. So that's all set. So next we're going to go into contouring um, because I have some cream products I want to use. So I'm taking my Hard Candy Look Pro Ultimate Contour and Sculpt Kit. I have yet to use this. I've had it for a couple years, but I've yet to use it. So why i really don't know um it does come with a brush so i do want to try it with the brush because this brush feels really soft and who knows maybe it'll do something so i'm gonna go into the cream contour shade and just pick that up with the brush and then just Do that. So I just realized I got makeup on my cup. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. Would you guys be interested in a full face of hard candy? I know I've done a full face of Elf and a full face of Maybelline. I plan on doing a full face of CoverGirl because currently I have Everything I would need for a full face of cover girl. So I figured I might as well do that before um, I get to the point where I want to get rid of any non cruelty free products. So that blended out pretty nicely. Okay, so I didn't think I was going to like this because just putting the brush in the product, it felt kind of stiff, but that blended out pretty nicely. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. So, as I was saying... This actually blended out pretty nicely. I didn't think I was going to like it because the product seemed really stiff when I was picking it up with the brush, but it's not that bad. I'm going to take this like creamy shade just to go underneath just to 
sharpen it up a little. And then just blend that out. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. But yeah, if you want to see a full face of hard candy, let me know. Hard candy's not that expensive. They have so many new products that I want to get. Like their Fox in a Box blushes. Those, um, they had them at one point and then they discontinued them. And now they're back. And I think that is cool. So, okay. Off of first impression, not that bad. This is in my shop at my staff this week for the next two weeks. So... I'm definitely looking forward to being able to try that out more. And then we're going to go into the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. So I am just going to put my eye primer on. And then I'm just going to grab this powder that I've been using to set my eye primer. It's too dark for my skin, so I've been using it as a powder that sets my eye primer. And it works. It takes a little longer to use it up this way, but that's okay. Okay, so. My nose is itchy. Alright, so this is what the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette looks like. Um, not really sure what I want to do. I'm wearing gray and white today. So that leaves it pretty open for possibilities of what I could do. So, uh, I think I'm going to start off simple. Ooh, I'm dropping stuff. And I think I'm going to go start off simple and go in with candy, which is this color right here. I'm taking it on an e.l.f. blending eyeshadow brush. Now this will be my second time using it. The first time I used this palette, I only used the shade Wicked. And that was in my... <coughs> Excuse me. My Get Ready With Me where I used this palette, the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and the BH Cosmetics... Um, Zodiac palette. Mm -hmm. 
which I mostly used the Zodiac palette, but I did use this one too. I can't negate that. So. So candy's not that bad looking. <sighs> now, please remember, I prefer shadows that you can build up. So if you don't like shadows that you can build up, This may not be the palette for you. I'm not really sure. I'm I only used two um shadows so far and both of them I kind of had to build up a little bit, which I personally don't have a problem with that. But I know that's not everyone's cup of tea. So So now I'm going to blend that out with a Wet n Wild blending brush. I just used my color switch on it to take off any product from the last time. I use all my brushes for two looks before I put them in the wash pile. Alrighty, so that's what that looks like blended out. So I think, I'm just trying to think. I think the next shade I'm going to go into will be Hippie, this like bright orange. This was a little bit more of a muted orange. Orange it up a little. So Hippie is a little bit more pigmented. Holy crap. So, fair warning. out now. This might take a little longer to blend. We'll have to see. Okay. This look is kind of going a little crazy. But that's okay. That's okay. But I have 
have been known for my crazy looks. Okay, I think that's looking pretty cool. All right, so I think I'm gonna do a lid color now. And I think I'm going to go in with the shade Ultimate. Fun fact, blue and orange are complementary colors. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. glitter primer. I'm really excited to see how the blue and orange look together because they like I said they are complementary colors and I'm wearing gray and white today so I can pretty much have fun with my look now I always try it straight off just with the glitter primer first so like I said, I'm going into the shade Ultimate. Whoa, dude. That's straight up pigment. Like, I did not spray my brush or anything. This is just the eyeshadow and the glitter glue. And I always put glitter glue down when I'm using a shadow on my lid. Um, because I have hooded eyes. So, I find that if I don't do that step, it doesn't really stick to my eye that well, so. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. Now the other side. It's actually kind of funny because I'm pretty sure I'm meeting my best friend's girlfriend for the first time today. So, um. She gets to meet the fact that I like crazy looks and crazy makeup. back into ultimate and doing the other side. There we 
we go. And now I'm just going to blend the blue and the orange together. And we don't got such a line. So pretty! I am going to touch up on the blue a little bit because it kind of went away with the blending. And I just love how bright that blue was. So I am just going to touch up the blue a little. Here we go. So... I am going to take Escape in the outer corner just for some dimension. I'm going to put a little bit of Pipster in too, that way it's not too orangey. Alright, then I'm just going to blend that and then probably have to touch up the blue again. Just on the most inner corner, though. That looks so pretty! Yes. Okay, sorry. I'm like fangirling over my makeup. That's embarrassing. But, yeah. So, I'm going to take a brief minute to put on to put on my mascara and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and this is like the most intense look I've done in a very 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 long time. So, in theory, I should be wearing lashes, but I'm not going to because my eyes are still wicked heavy from working like 80 hours this week. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Bronzer and just bronze a little bit. I'm just going to go with the color switch again so this is in the shade baked peach I am gonna do a little bit of my forehead because even though I have bangs and my bangs will cover it 
I do still want to kind of make it even. So, you know. I think that actually looks really pretty so far. There we go. And now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. blush in Tickled Pink. That's just what it looks like. I'm actually kind of excited to try this. Very powdery. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. Why haven't I tried this sooner? I suck, that's why. I look so pretty. I'm so pretty. All right, and I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'm gonna go in with ColourPop Flexitarian. I heard the best way to apply this is just with your finger. Ooh. Girl. That pretty. Ah, oh, that's so pretty. Ooh, I'm like, let's add more. Let's just add all of it. But no, seriously though, that is really pretty. All right, and I'm just gonna do that a little bit, just to make it a little bit more seamless. And then just to top that off, I am gonna go in with my Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights, just because I wanna be a little extra today. Oh, that looks so pretty. I'm so happy with that decision. And then I'm going to go in with a liquid lip Anastasia Beverly Hill liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Naked. I think it'll be the best lipstick to do with this look.
that looks so good. Okay. I love it. I think it looks a little crazy, but that's okay. Because that's just me. Alright, so if you guys liked this um, trying out new makeup type video, let me know down in the comments below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!